What's good, Gun Family? Urban Gun Reviews, and today on the channel, I'm gonna be doing my review and first shots of the Century Arms Draco. Let's get into it. Alright gun family, so uh, the ticket on this was about a thousand bucks and um, if you watch my unboxing of this, uh, I mentioned that uh, at a time probably before pre-pandemic, this gun was a lot cheaper. I used to see this gun all the time and it might have ran 600, 700 at max, you know what I mean? So I probably, uh, I got it during the pandemic, probably the height maybe in the middle of the height of the pandemic, the beginning, the height, kind of the pandemic. And like I said, I got this off of gunbroker.com and I paid about a thousand dollars. I don't think it was a thousand. If I remember correctly, it, it was close to a thousand or like really close or might maybe just a thousand dollars or something like that. But, um, yeah, this is one of the most popular firearms on the market. Okay. Uh, rappers, love the Draco um, young kids love the Draco uh, a lot of people love the Draco okay and um, a question that I get from a lot of people who never shot a Draco or don't own a Draco is is the Draco practical okay and I'm gonna get into that throughout this video I'm gonna let you know uh, at the end at least my thoughts on if this is a practical uh, firearm okay so one of the, the biggest misconceptions of the Draco is that this is not a rifle a lot of people look at it and they say that's a rifle but no the Draco is not a rifle the Draco is a pistol that shoots rifle caliber rounds so yes it shoots the 762 by 39 rifle round but this is not a rifle this is a pistol okay uh, a lot of people might not understand it uh, look it up research it it's not a pistol okay um, I have a couple different magazines for this I have the 40 round magazine and I have 30 round magazines okay uh, when I bought it it came with one 30 round magazine that's it and um, that's all that it came with as far as magazines go. Um, what I shoot out of this, uh, being that it's an AK-47 platform, um, all I shoot mainly, I should say, all I shoot is steel case rounds. And that's these, these gray type ones, these like wolf ammo, um, Tula ammo, stuff like that. I shoot steel case because it's really dirty and the Draco is one of those guns with well, the AK-47 platform in general. It's just one of those firearms that you can shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. Dirty up, gunk it up, drop it, kick it, flip it, rub it down, uh oh. One of those and you're not going to have malfunctions with it. It just runs. And that's one of the reasons why I like this. See, the Draco has uh, built-in front sights, so you got a front sight on there, and this would be your other sight on there, and this is able to flip up or whatever if you needed to flip it up. Um, comes with the wood uh, grip on there, so that's how you would practically shoot it like that, or I think I got an empty mag over there somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, I got an empty mag. See, it's nothing in there. And... Well, show you how to load it too. You load it like this from the front and then push it in from the back. You know what I mean? So it's like a uh, uh type of gesture. All right. So you can shoot it holding it like this with your hand on the wood or you can shoot it holding on to the mag like that. Either way. Okay. Um, we got a pistol grip, no stock, 
um, I put a a little uh, sling on it. Not the best, just a little cheap sling. It has uh, points right here for you to connect the sling. Also, one up front to be able to connect the sling. Uh, if you want to use a two-point sling or whatever. Um, the mag release is right here, so easy to take that mag out of there. Uh, you got your safe and your fire, so you got the S and the F. This is the switch to take it from safe to uh, to fire. We have, uh, this is your charging handle. That sound is a lovely sound. And uh, it is reciprocating, meaning when you shoot it, when you pull that trigger, this is going to come back. This handle is going to come back and reset. Come back and reset, come back and reset. Okay. Um, real easy to take apart. I'm not going to do it due to me having this little thing on, so I'm not going to take it apart, but it's really easy. Uh, this dust cover pops off. Push this button in, pop the dust cover off. Then there's a spring in there. You take the, sp the spring out, and then there's another part that you take out. Really easy. Um, as far as shooting it, like I, I went to the range, I took it to the range the other day with uh, when I went out with Devil Row and I went out with Gray Man 47, and um, I put about 250, maybe 300 rounds through it, and it shot like a champ. Of course, like I expected it to shoot uh, straight. Like I said, straight um, steel case ammo. That's all I shot through. That's actually all I bought. I don't even think I have anything other than steel case ammo. Um, and that's just on the simple fact that I don't have to put high priced ammo through this. It's going to work. It's going to be effective and it's going to do its job. Um, what else can I say about this? Um, one thing that I did realize is when I was shooting it, this wood gets extremely hot. Okay. I think your, uh, was it your buffer tube is in here? Maybe. I don't know. Can't think of it. The, exact name if I'm wrong um, but it gets it gets really hot so after putting two three mags through this 30 60 90 120 rounds this is going to get hot so uh, what I did was I was holding it from here or you know trying to get it a little back here but I mean like I said this this is going to get hot um, one thing I, I thought about was changing out this and putting more of a, a tactical uh, look on it maybe with some uh, M lock or Picatinny, uh, so I could put accessories on there. That's something I might do down the future. Don't really know. When it comes to reliability, this gun is going to be reliable. Have no problems with that. Um, as far as accuracy goes, in this configuration, accuracy is not going to be the best. Uh, really, the way this is now, I believe it's more of a hip fire type thing. You know what I mean? You can hold it out like this, but the recoil on this is going to jump. It's going to throw your shot crazy. So that's why i say in this configuration to be accurate i don't believe it'll be it's not going to be that accurate okay uh now you you could spray and pray you know what i mean you could do that that might work for you you know um if, if you were shooting at somebody who's having behind a car this could probably work for you i don't know how accurate it'll be but you got 30 40 rounds you can get a drum for it too and it'll probably go through uh, most vehicles, you know, maybe even an engine block, maybe, maybe not. Um, one upgrade that I'm going to do, which will make this a lot more accurate, is I'm going to get a brace on it, okay? Uh, I'm going to get a brace put on here so I can uh, use it 
more up here and be able to control the recoil and the movement of the gun. Um, that that like I said in the footage that you'll see, it's 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 jumping, you know, and that's just because it's you're ho literally holding it like this or you're like this and you're not, you know, you don't have anything to really brace it off. You don't have points of contact. And you got two points of contact, which is, you know, you holding the handle, or you holding the grip, and then you holding the handle up here. But, you know, you don't have anything to brace it. Like, like if you had like a, a full-size AK-47 um, rifle, you can shoulder it and, you know what I mean, get it like that or whatever, or you can put your face on it, which, eh, you know what I mean? But that's probably the only two upgrades that i would do is put a brace on here and maybe change out the wood furniture i love the look of the wood though that's that's my hesitation but i know with the wood i'm not going to be able to put uh you know a light on here if i wanted to put a light on here um or anything like that so this would be the way it would have to be so a, a brace is definite a brace is something uh, that is definitely going to, to happen. I don't know when, but probably I want to get it before that I go shoot it again. I want to get the brace and install it on there. recommend the Draco absolutely um, it's a fun gun to shoot it's something that um, you know is, is going to grab attention it shoots fireballs and you'll see in the video uh, or you've seen in the video that it, it shoots straight fireballs you know so as soon as that that thing get the banging you got flames coming all out of there and it, it looks beautiful you know what I mean I love the look of it it looks it looks mean I could change out this handle to this grip I'm thinking about that I did actually look into some grips maybe something more rubberized um, you know for a better feel and stuff like that that's a cheap you know upgrade or something but um yeah I love the Draco I think it's one of the uh, the the coolest guns on the market like I said, the uh, popularity of these has skyrocketed. Everybody loves the Draco. Everybody knows what the Draco is. Um, if you haven't ever shot one, then it's definitely something you should do. Uh, now, if if I'm in a uh, S uh, H uh, T F situation, I had to think about that one. If I'm in a S H T F situation will I grab the Draco and uh, I'm gonna say no and that's that's because if I'm in the house I don't think this is gonna be something that I grab even if I had a brace on it even however I deck it out I don't think I would go and grab this um, the 762 round will penetrate every wall in my house I got concrete walls I got just drywall walls as well. I this this will penetrate the walls, and that's the last thing that you want is to uh, try to stop a, a burglary attempt or somebody trying to break into your house and end up shooting a family member. So that's uh, why I wouldn't grab this. And even with some pistol caliber uh, handguns, you might get that same result, but. That, that's a, a maybe. This is a definite. These are going to go through walls. Uh, these rounds are going to penetrate and, and keep going. And it might go to my neighbor's house, and, and that's not what I want. So would I grab this in, in that type of situation? No. Um, I would use this in, uh, like, uh, if I was hunting, if I was hunting maybe a bear, uh, if I was on hog hunts. Um, something in that nature I will probably use this with a brace 
um, maybe a sight on it, but I, I kind of like the irons. You know, I like the irons on here. So, yeah. But um, that's the Draco. That's my review on the Draco. Uh, like I said, I like it. Really fun gun to shoot. Fun platform. Beautiful thing. A lot of customization you can do with these things. Lots of, of, of different stuff that you can do. Also, this is... Um, this is, I believe, the biggest Draco. I believe there's a mini, and there's a micro. This, I believe, is the full size Draco, and there's two sizes under this. So, um, maybe when the price is dropped, I might look into getting another one or the other two, just you know, so I can have them. But this is the one that I like. I, I definitely wanted this size uh, as my first uh, Draco. But it's Urban Gun Reviews. If this video helped you in any way or you just enjoy my content, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that easily by clicking on the AR-15 in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you're not following me on all my social media sites, all you got to do is go into the description and all the information is in there. And as always, Gun Family, stay blessed, stay strapped. Two, two, three, two, 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 two